Hi, my name is Josh Heron, and I'm the CEO here at South One HQ. And today I'm gonna to give you three tips on how to improve your employee engagement. Tip number one, have a one-on-one -on -one scheduled with each teammate in your organization. And that may be hard if you have a larger organization, so if it's a larger business, you'll wanna have a one-on-one -on -one with each one of your department heads. Now, here's a couple reasons you have the one-on-one. -on -one. First reason is, you have to understand where someone wants to go in their life. Uh, as a leader, your job is to help people get to where they wanna go. And it's impossible to do that if you don't know exactly where that is. And, and I, a lot of times I think we focus on business a lot, on where someone wants to go in their career, and that's really important. But I think it's really important that we also think about you know, the fact that what someone does it from a business standpoint really is to influence what they want to do in their personal life. So try to get an understanding of where someone wants to drive from a personal standpoint and then what they need to do in the business to help them get there. We use things like KPIs or key performance indicators to measure someone's success in their role. We try to take kind of the gray out of everything. We really want everything to be black and white so it's either we won or we lost and there's no hard feelings if together we set kind of what those measurements are ahead of time and then we just work backwards to try to see if we've had the ability to accomplish them or not. Tip number two, have a daily huddle. And you know, when I think about huddle, I'm not thinking about the traditional sense that you would see in a football team. What, what I think about when, I, when we talk about huddles is a collection of people collaborating together. And each day here at Southwind, we have a huddle. And sometimes there's 30 people in the room, sometimes there's 50, and sometimes there's less. But the truth is, it's the connection of us working together and collaborating on important things that are happening in the day or um, you know, just giving affirmations to people who've done great work. You teach people how to treat you. And when you affirm great behavior or things that you like in the business, it teaches everybody in the organization that this is what success looks like. So huddle with your team, work with them to help them understand how to achieve success in their role. Number three is nudges. I, I want you to think about this uh, from a different perspective than maybe you did when I said the word nudge. When I think about nudges, what comes to mind is helping people become successful and things they want to be successful at. You know, everybody has a busy day and sometimes we get off track. As a leader in your business, you have to take the time to help your team be successful. And sometimes that means reminding them about important things that they need to do. You know, most people want to be successful in their life and you know, as a leader, it takes a lot of us understanding how to help them get there. And sometimes they'll say things like, I want to accomplish X by the end of the week. Great leaders throughout the week will meet with those people and ask them, hey, how is this going? Or, hey, what's going on with whatever it is that they were trying to accomplish? What that does is bring it top of mind to your teammates, helping them more easily remember that they need to accomplish things. You know, I, I know for, for me, I don't always know, uh, I don't always keep everything top of mind. So it's really nice to get a nudge here and there from people that I trust or respect to remind me to do the things that really make an impact in my business. So there you have it. Those are my three tips for increasing teammate engagement.